So as previously, so as previously mentioned, I'm going to bring you some longs. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to bring you longs. I'm going to bring you some real chess openings that I've played today. So there's about four or five of them. So I don't know. Should be about 15 minutes long altogether. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go through fast mode and I hope I can figure out which ones I've shown and which ones I haven't. Uh, but here, here is the Indian Defence London system. Hmm, okay, that sounds interesting. Here it goes here, I'm black. So I might comment during or after or not at all. Not sure. Just doing this off the cuff. What's that move? It's going to get hit one day. This is a move that's in the Queen's Indian to play. It's Queen C8 to defend your bishop. And build up on that square E4. Very important. E4 is the key square. Even though I've just vacated it. But I win a bishop. I win a bishop. Really my opponent probably should resign now. This is still in the book. That's what they used to say in the old days. It's still in my book. I'm trying to get Bishop C5 and just, you know, hopefully he... So, it's another endgame, isn't it? Now, I go Bishop C3, but it's no good now. It's all right, but... but it's a bit... Um, Dirty, really. I'm trying to play like Magnus. Everyone is. And so I'm actually trying to just move my king in and start to threaten checkmate or lose. Am I going to lose this? Because I do lose. He could just about take king d3, couldn't he? Queen f1, check. Queen g2, check. Queen g8, bit greedy, king d4. And my opponent run out of time. Okay, that's that game. I hope you like that one. Uh, oh, it's not very nice, is it? I'm learning the openings and their names. This is called, and I think I do know this, but I know the Polish is d4, d, um, D4, B5. So we'll have a look at this one. Okay. Hope you like this one. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay, so let's go. Fast again. So the Polish opening. Zoz, the Polish. Oh, oh, yes, of course. He's playing the Polish. My opponent. So I try to... I go out of my way to lock that bishop up. But at the same time develop. So I'm locking the bishop up up but pawn moves like f4 will alleviate my stronghold i couldn't play knight h5 as a queen takes knight <gasps> but knight c7 knight b6 not really going anywhere here much but i go here to prevent h5 move i don't know why my opponent did that but here's queen D4 and Queen H4 almost got away with it and it's checkmate. Here I play the Valencia opening. What is that? And other variations. That's typical, isn't it? Okay, let's go have a look at this one. D3. Okay, I know that. That's King's Indian. That's what I call it. It wouldn't be fair if I don't show you my loss, as long as it's not uh, my normal opening. But, like, I sort of play a kind of an English setup as well, but my opponent just, I don't know, wants to give me a piece and gives me a big space advantage and a very, very good end game. And Queen G4 and Bishop H6, Queen G5 and Queen G7 checkmate. The good old McCutcheon French defence variation, Chief. 
the good old McCutcheon, one of my favourites, and I know it quite well. So I don't know why I don't play it. I don't know, maybe I just want to be like Curiosity Killed the Cat. Or well, I want to be like that cat out of Cat in the Hat. No, well, yeah, okay, but out of the Aristocats. Don't the Aristocats. The Aristocats. Do, 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 I'm black, of course. Again, I'm a black cat. So this is the McCutcheon French. It's a good line, actually. Uh, especially if white doesn't know what they're doing. So already, after Bishop H4, I've got G5, of course. Oh, ow. Oh. This is no good. Go away. That cat. Oh, Queen F2 checkmate. No, it wasn't. It was almost checkmate, wasn't it? Pretty well clearly checkmate. My opponent resigned. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm white. I play only one move, move one, E4, which is unusual, of course. And I also play the against the French and I play what is called the Wunua variation. Very, very popular, but some people have put it to sleep for white, but I didn't experience that in this game. So I hope you like this game. This is a three minute as well. It was played eight hours ago. Who cares? Okay, am I recording? Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm white, of course, this time. I'm actually white, a white cat. Which cat is best with the finest in Paris? Don't say a real and a resto cat. I quite like uh, Bishop takes C3 check because it alleviates. <gasps> Queen G6, my opponent resigned. Didn't want to play anymore. Wow, what am I doing playing E3 on move one? My opponent's accuracy in this game, where I will fix the screen soon for white, is 84% accuracy. Mine is, however, 76% accuracy. But guess what? I'm playing my normal system again. Maybe that's rather telling, but I should really be playing it a wee, a wee, a wee bit better than that, shouldn't I? So here's this game. In my recording, it's almost going to be like my second catchphrase. Am I recording? Okay, here it goes here. So I'm playing my normal setup. So this is fair to bring maybe a loss or draw. Uh, very embarrassing, I think. This was very embarrassing, this position. It up that way. Oh, knight g4. Oh. Bishop c5, not very good. Yep, king up. Oh, g4. Oh, blunder. Yay. Good with the uh, subtitles. But I muck this up, if that's fair enough to say that. What about Rook D7 check was way better for my opponent. Now I start pinning this knight. And like, I really just push everything I've got to the knight, but I don't do it very well. It's a bit embarrassing this game. Should really take that knight, at least with the Rook. <laughs> the horrors of checkmate and this time it's my opponent my opponent in this case is white I'm black so that was fair enough wasn't it it was almost 6 out of 6 6 of the best as they said at high school I don't know what that means 6 of the best does that mean 6 eggs in a row or 6 of something else of the best it was actually uh, punishment. Uh, sometimes we would get six of the best, as it was called, and didn't think it was really quite nice to be 
kind. <gasps> but you can't do that, David. They can't do that anymore, can they? But they did. They got away with it. But that's another story. I'll tell you that one day. But it won't be today because, like, I've moved on from there. I don't know about the teacher that did, though. And one of them is whatever. Okay, I'm not going to go into inappropriateness. But one of them is... Uh, so here's this game six for you. Or seven. It's actually seven, I think. So it's six out of seven. That sounds better odds than five out of six or whatever. So here's this game. This game, I think, is the game that I showed the end game in for earlier. So I've got a bishop and pawn end game. Bishop and pawns versus bishop and pawns and kings. Uh, end game for you in a long video that is on the same day uh, more or less abreast to this one which is before this one is now this one okay I hope you get what I mean because guess what I don't so here's this game this is quite a good game because it was not easy the scores uh, at the time of this game two and a half two and a half to my opponent and to me and yes i can't count you have to make sure you practice all the time that's what they do in aristocats they make sure that they practice all the time i played d4 a bit naughty but i don't know if i'm really wanting to give my pawn up because there's a pawn My opponent's just out. You know, like, this is nothing in it. There's not much in this game. That scared me, rook d2. I thought, what? If I could take that rook with check or something and then take the queen, I would have. Here's the end game that i shown in a long video today. And uh, yeah, this is, I could play b4 check after bishop b5, I've realised. But this one worked out quite well in my favour. There's no point in bishop h7, I mean bishop g8, just a time wasting. But here yeah, the pawn marches and uh, this is pretty final. Even though it's still a little bit of work to watch out for. And watch out for when your opponent doesn't play a2 and plays king b1 or king a1. Don't play a pre-move there. Make sure, even though you, if you're in time trouble, you still got to watch out, okay? So we're almost over. We're almost over, but not quite yet. But now, after this move, g4, my opponent resigned. As I started to do some pre-moves. Bye!